morning everyone it's Sunday it's a bun day we got our Costa coffee topped up with jungle juice and we are off today to an abandoned cult village known as the Bruderhof cult uh, it's a German cult I believe um, and I think from what I've read it's about a 400 acre site um, houses, buildings, uh, schools, church, all sorts so hopefully we can find it hopefully we can get in, hopefully we'll be able to get into some buildings and have a look <laughs> kind of cancelled it because we got straight there and the first thing it seen straight across the field was the police car and police dogs hmm why is it so heavily security i don't understand very very heavily guarded for an abandoned village anyway it's a slight change of plan. We've decided that we are actually going to go and have a quick look and just see what we can see. Because there is a public footpath that runs alongside it. So we should be able to see quite a bit just from the public footpath along the side. Maybe have a chat to the security if they're friendly enough and see what they say. See if they're getting, giving the information away. and see what we can see. I'm pretty sure the footpath runs up along this side and just goes up round. There's sort of street lights in there, look. Full on house in there. Out. Yeah. Around, yeah. Good afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> How far up does the footpath and stuff run up round here? Yep. Yep. So you can go up and turn right, or you can go straight up through. Okay. Okay. As long as you stay on there, you'll be fine. Not okay. a problem. Anything more you can tell us about the area, or? Not really. It's various incarnations, this and that. Yeah. Yeah, make, I make a YouTube channel, and I do abandoned buildings and stuff. So, obviously, I've looked up and found out that it was a abandoned cult village, from what I know, but... That's fine. Not a problem. 
I've got a little Wi-Fi drone. It's not a big one or anything. Is that all right to, to put up and stuff? It goes 10 meters up or not? Yeah, you can do that. Yeah? As long as, long as you stay on the footpath and stuff. Yeah, as long as you stay on the footpath. Yeah. Like you don't go in or approach the building, just follow. Perfect. Not a problem at all. All right. Lovely. Thank yeah, you very thank much. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to mess around with him. <laughs> <laughs> got a nice day for it today, though. Yeah, Go up and right. Up and right, or you can go straight up. Can you get the drone up then? Huge bit of land though. Hey? Let's get a drone out then. Oh yeah, we'll get up a little bit sort of sort of centerish sort of thing and then we'll put the drone up a little bit and just see what we can see. Look at that. Or garage block. Reception. That's left though. Yeah. You said you can go right. Wow, look at that. That's mental, isn't it? Some more on here with the wide angle. It's a bloody big expanse of land, though, isn't it? Wow, look at that old building in there. Straight in the puddle. So just been talking to the security, found out that it is 24-7 security on this place. Whoa. We're going to head up this way a little bit because he tells me that. Where is it? Is it down there? Yes, yeah, down there. There's a... Is it down there? It might... No, let's go a little bit further. Let's go further. 
There's apparently the old cemetery up here which we can go and have a look at. It's the last place that we can actually look at without having the dog set on us, basically. But we've also found out that there's been quite a bit of paranormal activity here, including a bit of footage that the security guard showed me on his on his phone. But yeah, I I want to come back here at night time, but I asked him and he said no. So don't know what I'm going to do about that. However, it's amazing. There's bits of buildings and bits and pieces all over the place. Yeah. So, we want to go in there, there's a bloody llama in the field. So yeah, we're going to go and say hello, we're going to go and say hello to the llama. Go on Josh. I'm going to step over here and sort of go around the edge and then up. Why? Are you going to go around there? I don't want to get me new craps, muddy blood. <laughs> Hopefully it's a friendly llama. Oh, well, this guy is running away. Is it? Yeah, it's going after me. Oh. Oh. Really? <laughs> That's gate there, isn't it? We have a chain around it. So I have to keep sheep out. All right, cool. Oh, we can sit in there as well. Have a drink. Small cemetery. God, that drone's hot, man. Hope's safe for Holly. He tops. Looks like someone's been eating these ones, look. I'm taking a chunk out. Yum yum. That name there. Wow, what that date. Jabez Watkins. 1846 to 1938. And then there we are, Arnold. 1938 to 1938. What the hell? 15 to the 8th. Two months old. Two months old. It's a child's, the child's gravestone over here. Yeah. <laughs> Born in 
Born 15th of the 8th, 1938. Buried the 21st of the 11th, 1938. Getting a bit newer up this end. Gertrude Dyro. Hey, you reckon? Hey, that's my birthday. 15th of the 8th. Yeah. Shit. So we just sat having a quick break in the cemetery. Um, security's really hot here. But he is really friendly. He did tell us about this little bit as well that we could come and have a look at before we head out. Uh, mad to see the dates, just shows how old this place is. And some of the buildings here are just mental. It would be cool to like be able to get in and have a proper explore of it all, but unfortunately not. So, yeah. What do you think of it, Josh? What do you reckon of this yeah, place? Right. Mad, isn't it? Josh is uh, trying to get his head around the. Uh, Awesome. Yeah, it baffled me. It doesn't. It's not. I'm not gonna lie. It's a good gadget, but it's not. Um, Tricky. Yeah, it's it's harder to manage and use than I thought it was gonna be. Compared to watching my brother use his Ronin and stuff. Don't watch. Sit down. Make sure it's sturdy. That's probably why. Got to make sure it's sturdy when you put it down, and then track it. Hey, you done it. Yeah. So it's working out then. Mm. It's nice tracking me, that's now if I get up. So it's working now, look guys. Yeah, it's working for you then. Oh, pretty good, isn't it? Who's it tracking that? <laughs> now. No, it's still tracking me though. Oh, it's pretty good, isn't it? Who's it tracking that? Who are you? <laughs> now it's confused, look. It's already. <laughs> oh, shit, I'm gonna turn that off. Oh man! You can do a video out with that on the way out. Yeah? Huh? You can do a video with that on the way out. And do like bits instead of doing it all in one if you want to do it in bits. And do like when you like find a building. Do like you know how Jake does it sort of things like, like go from like the hedgerow on the path or something and slowly bring it up so it pans cinematic wise uh, through because there's not going to be it's not going to be like a video that I'm going to be able to put together with us
Stillborn. Ah. Angelic Arnold. Just has to mm. tell you about the birth of the people that were buried in here. What's that then? German? Sweet baby to see. Wow. Muriel Marsh. O Christ, who holds the open gate, O Christ, who ploughs the furrow straight, O Christ, the plough, O Christ, the laughter of holy white birds flying after. Mm. I'm still born. Gottlieb Martin, son of Arno and Ruth. She's frantically getting ready to move to Paraguay. Jabez, you. It's mad, right? Mm. Do it for a off. Come on then, mate.
You're hungry. Oh yeah. Oh, he's hungry. So, on the way home, another adventure, kind of. Didn't get in, but it was cool to see the outsides of the buildings and whatnot. But yeah, if you liked the video and you liked our adventure, give us a like, hit the subscribe button. See you later.